He has no style. He has no grace. This Kong has a funny face. I thought you were gonna maybe interject something in there. That's just that's just the line straight up, right? <laughs> At some point, we're gonna have to like have a rap battle. You guys realize that, right? <laughs> oh god, I can't <laughs> rap. <laughs> Cabinet battle. Cabinet battle. <laughs> Hamilton. <laughs> wait, what? What? What about Hamilton? Oh, Hamilton. It's the, great. Uh, the it's musical what? play. Oh, I've heard. I keep hearing about it. But I have like little clue what it's about. It's, you it's gotta. So it's hear, about, you it's got... about one of the founding fathers of America, and it's Perfect. completely fantastic. It's uh, incredible, and you gotta take a listen, Jordan. <laughs> all right, I will. But yeah, right now we are uh, flying. DK's getting high. Do you think Donkey Kong's afraid of heights? Like, do you think he's freaking out right now? <laughs> I doubt it. Like, nothing scares Donkey Kong besides a deficit of bananas. This is true. The, I feel the, like he's it, flown on enough things at this point that like he, he's all right. Yeah, and he's yeah, been so, far enough underwater to the point where he should be terrified, but he really isn't. And get the bends. Yeah. 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 But yeah, right now you are racing another bird. You have to try and get to the finish line before um, them. And there are a few levels like this where either swimming or flying ones where you have to like compete against another bird or sea turtle and try to get to the end before the end first. That's cool. <laughs> I love the bird's, like, animation. I just like the design of it. It looks so derpy. It doesn't even want to be there. Yeah, it really doesn't look like it's having the greatest time of its life. Oh, I'm on Donkey Kong duty today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a, lot of the, a lot of the levels until, like, say, near the end don't exactly have a consistent theme. So that's why we're, like, in the jungle and now we're in the desert. Yeah, yeah it's like... <laughs> yeah, I don't know how we get here. Was this like the Cucumber Kingdom or something? I don't... Uh, can't... No, this is the, um... Shit, I can't remember what, which one it is. The Cactus Kingdom? No, is this still the Pineapple Kingdom? No, uh, no. Or is that we the one we finished? finished? Yeah, that's okay. The we, that's, the, what, that's the last one. Ah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this guy's kind of annoying, because you have to get near him for him to attack, and then you have to just sort of run away and then grab onto that rooster thing. And then beat the hell out of it. Mm. We are in the Lemon Kingdom. Oh, you know, I feel like the uh, the the fruit themes are not really matching up with this level design very well. Yeah, it all seems a little bit arbitrary. Yeah, it is a bit arbitrary. But I don't know. The level design is yeah. actually pretty nice. I just wish they had like a more consistent theme. But there's mm -hmm. there's, there's all sorts of different things though. There's lava levels. Um, there's like a castle level. There's a few other things. Oh, they got a castle level into this? Huh? Yeah, it was, but it's like not like it's like a Japanese castle. Oh, okay, looking forward to seeing that. With ninjas. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, th th that that's one of I, that's one of the later levels. I guess we'll get into and. It's kind of that was kind of an annoying level. It sounds because ninjas are pretty formidable enemies in any sort of video game. Usually dealing with like precise, you usually have to like defeat them in like a precise way, and this game doesn't really lend itself well to that sort of thing. Oh, I'm also talking out of my ass and have no idea what <laughs> we're gonna see. So yeah, so there goes the pig. That looks really painful. Really ripping yeah. these, these guys up. You know, I feel like in the old in the old uh, Donkey Kong games, like you know, you were fighting these alligators that were like humanoid, uh, often had like army gear on them and that sort of thing. So it was like you didn't feel bad, and you were just jumping on them, and they were like falling down. I guess they fall off the level, but you, were, you, you didn't really think about it. Uh, I think there's something perhaps less defensible about just literally beating animals until they explode. Well, it's because these guys are just sort of, like, there. It's like they're not even... I mean, except for that giant chicken thing, which is really creepy. Uh, like, these guys are just sort of, like, doing their thing, and, you know, DK's just ripping up their territory. So, yeah, I feel I a little weird about it. Maybe, what is the plot of this game, we're, anyways? Maybe um, we're the bad guys. It's, it's a DK game. Do you actually expect there to be a plot? Well, usually in, like, a Donkey Kong Country game, there's, like, someone who's kidnapped, at least, or something. Well, there isn't... 
anybody who's been kidnapped in this game, I don't think. It's, like, literally just, like, there is an end boss, and I don't know exactly what he's done to earn DK's wrath. He just sort of beats on him anyway. Right, like, is there a... I forget. Is there, like, an opening cutscene in this game at all? The opening cutscene was the first thing you saw in the game. Right. Do you remember what happens during it? Because I don't. You beat up a tree. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah, okay, so there's really no pretense here at all. Uh, was was the tree Wispy Woods? <laughs> no, it had a, the tree had a barrel on it, you beat the hell out of it, and that's it. Mm. So DK just got up one morning and thought, you know what? I've got to remind everyone here who's king in this kingdom. And then started <laughs> yeah, this going to town kinda, on everyone. This sounds kind of like being the bad guy from, like, A Bug's Life. He's just like, oh, I gotta make sure all the other people in the jungle are making me their food offerings. Oh, Hopper. Gotta go make an example of some people. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, a good question. I don't even know what the plot of this game actually is. I don't even think there is a plot, to be honest with you. I don't know if I trust Donkey Kong to be, like, a benevolent good guy ruler. <laughs> mm, no, I think he'd demand all the... Yeah, I think he would be a very Hopper... Jesus Christ. Yeah, what fuck is that, that thing. Yeah, that... Mm, can we skip all to the next episode? This is like Limbo. Oh, God. No, I think this is creepier, because, like, Limbo is just a shadow, but, like, here it's... I don't know, that... Like, look at those eyes. That... Ew. I don't actually find it that creepy. I just... I, I it looks weird, though. Spider. It's, 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 it's like definitely a... weird. Punching it in its eyes. Like, we have come to wait on, for guys. The one. This is... This is a little rough. Yeah. Just a little bit. And all the oh, God, now it's come out of its eyes. Oh, that, that 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 puff animation, like that smoke animation, was very uh, Wind Waker. Now to think of it. Mm. Well, it is a GameCube game, so. Ah, uh, true. When life gives you lemons, beat the hell out of it. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> the bongos, Jordan! The bongos were totally getting away from you. Uh, as far as this game is, is concerned, if life gives you anything, you beat the hell out of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that's not wrong. <laughs> Damn it, Donkey Kong. Maybe okay, so this is another reskin. Life lessons about. Yeah, this is another bird boss. This is it a looks... lot like a boss in... Or, well, at least visually. It's it's similar to a boss in, I want to say, DK1. Maybe even like one of the last bosses, or maybe one of the first bosses. I don't remember. There's a boss that's like a bird. Uh, and oh. you gotta like, do something with its eggs or something. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it's got a ridiculous name, actually. It's a vulture kind of thing. Yeah. Well, to be, I don't know. The, the, the bird bosses in this game, are, I think, are the easiest. Because they don't really do much. And you can pretty much eat, beat them pretty easily. Personally, I, don't, I'm, I hate the uh, elephant ones. Hmm. Because those guys are annoying. I am trying to rock a wiki looking for the boss in the first game. Uh, hmm. All those Banunus. Lots of them. You only got a bronze for that? But it filled it up? Oh, there we go. Okay, I see. Yeah. How hard is it to get, like, max kind of thing? It actually is pretty hard because... The, um, some levels don't have a lot of chances, and like there are some levels where the only real chance, like like to do, it's to do something like what it just showed there. It's like get your combo up so it multiplies like everything like a stupid amount, and then you have to you get all the beats and bananas and whatever. Uh, uh, you know what? I didn't realize there was a combo system in this game. Yeah, it sort of runs on like how many times you jump off things. It's kind of weird, but it, it can be interesting. The only problem is like. If the level doesn't lend itself to having a lot of bananas in the first place, you are kind of dependent on that in order to get that gold star. Mm. And I still haven't found the name of that boss, so thanks for joining us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>